Spring is popping out all over, and it's time for spring cleaning. Be sure you don't forget your duct work. Call Premier Heating and Air today and clear the dust from your ducts and keep your unit running smoothly. Through the end of April, receive a free indoor air treatment system with the price of a whole home duct cleaning. And with temperatures heating up, make sure you keep your cool with a $49 AC checkup special. Need a new unit? Get up to $2,000 off qualifying systems. Schedule a visit and get a quote today at premierishere.com. The choice is clear. Choose Premier. Premier Heating and Air, a locally owned and operated company. Offer ends April 30th. Hello everyone, welcome into the studios today. Angela D. Stanley and you'll recognize Pat Rock. Yeah. And Pat Stanley Brock, as everybody will know you as. That's right. You'll have quite a large family, don't you? Yes. Angela, tell me about your family. Oh my, um, we, I am the youngest of 14. Mm -hmm. The youngest of 14. Um, I, we were born and raised in Dublin, Georgia. Yeah. And uh, many of us went to do some great things. Yeah. And my parents actually passed away when we were young. Mm -hmm. So my, I was 11 months old when my mom died and 17 when my dad died. Yeah. But we have had a strong unity since they um, have been away. They taught us love. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Angela, catch us up a little bit on what you've been up to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where do yes. we begin? Well, um, we are excited because actually 2016 was when uh, we, my sister Bernice, of course we call her Queen Bernice, but she actually had an idea. She loved, if any of you love Family Feud, she had a, yeah. a bucket list to be on Family Feud. How about that? And all she said is, this is what I want to do. And so she gave me the reins and we kept moving from then. And so it started in 2016. Mm -hmm. We did our interview and now we're here rolling and moving forward in 2024. And on May 3rd, we will actually have our debut appearance, appearance on Family Feud. Wow. You know, Pat, you shared that with me in confidence back when, when you all tried out. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. I said, can you keep a secret? I swear <laughs> on a stack of Bibles. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And so you guys went to Atlanta, was it? We did. To try out? We did. Tell me about that experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, like what Angela said, as far as like just having that bucket list and, and in April mm. 2017, I mean, we dressed up, we were the Cheetah Sisters. Yes. All of us had on cheetah print. We went up there on a wing and a prayer. Yes. And you know, to be selected to audition, right. we auditioned against another family. Yes, we did. And it was nerve wracking, like I was nervous and you know, how I am, nervous. but I, I guess that fear of that unknown of doing yeah, something yeah. and stepping outside of the box. So mm -hmm. it was back in, first we did it at Life Weekend, just a video. Mm -hmm. We played and Family Feud as a family at her Life Weekend for Hope and Darkness, yes. her Hope and Darkness Foundation, yeah. and then here we go. Mm -hmm. 2017, we hit the dusty trails yeah. to Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, and, and so there you are, and of course you'd feel the pressure Yes. Because you got one shot. Yes. It's one and done, or maybe they'll call you back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do they ask you difficult questions, Angela? Well, they weren't difficult questions. They, it was just the fact of the matter. You have to figure out what other people's responses are, right? Yeah. <laughs> you had to be quick. Sure. And um, so yeah, I wouldn't say that the questions were difficult. You just had to try to think and uh, what others would say. Right. And listen, yeah. when they say 100 people survey, they're not talking about Dublin. Yes. <laughs> they're not talking about your mom and your mima. <laughs> they're not talking about the people in your church. Yes. It's a very broad spectrum. Yes. And so you've got to be able to, to th think quickly and think broad in order to be able to get mm -hmm. a, a response that's going to make sense. Yeah. 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 So you came out the first round. Now, how did that end, though? You went up. I know you were nervous. You, you competed against some, some random mm -hmm. family, mm -hmm. and then you, you came out of there, and what happened? They tell you, we'll be in touch, or? Yeah, pretty much, okay, next. Um, <laughs> next. <laughs> because, I mean, there are thousands and thousands of yeah. families that uh, yeah. audition. And again, um, we are, we, there are seven girls, and only five can be on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, but all, uh, all of us went that time. But what happened was, in between, COVID happened. 
Yeah. And so when COVID happened, they shut everything down. There were yeah. no physical interviews. And so uh, we, like, like we said, we started in 2016, 2017. Then what, 2023, we got an email. Uh, well, we got an email before then about auditioning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, that was six years. Think about that. Wow. And so we're like, you know, hidden, hidden rejection zone. Like, well, sure. we didn't make it. Yeah. yeah. But we persevered. Yes. We did not give up. Uh, and so I'm so glad that we didn't give up. And, you know, so many things transpired in between then. You know, we had births. We have had deaths. We yeah, had, you yeah. know, just a loss of things. People going, yeah. moving away, coming sure. back. So, yeah. Um, yeah. but it was just, I believe, God's perfect timing mm -hmm. yeah. and the season for yeah. us to do that. Did you stay in touch with them? Did they respond to you at all during that long period? Or was it just a dry spell? It was a dry spell. Spell. I mean, it was the Sahara Desert. Yes. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. It was a dry spell. And so, so we thought they didn't care to Yeah, so yeah. what a great light. I mean, all of a sudden, who got the email? All of you? They get. Who's email? They, you got they, it? They sent it to, to me because oh, I was yeah. in, They called me the. This is the boss baby. If you did not know that, <laughs> this is the boss baby. This all is right. the legacy protector. This is the one that pursues things when, think about our age range yeah, now. Yeah. We've got siblings in their 70s. Yeah. So it's like the youngest one, she's taking that baton and Good. she's the one that she goes out there and gets it. Mm -hmm. So you got that email. We got that Woo. email and said, hey Staley family, um, <laughs> We want we want you to come in for tryouts, and so we. At, when I got the email, the hearts were pumping, and so I did a Zoom call with the ladies, and yeah. I, I just texted them and said, guys, I got some news, and you know sometimes it's hard to say, but every time sure. you hear got news, people get like, oh my God, what's what, what might it be? Yeah. Yes, and so by the time everybody got on Zoom, I had the whole Family Feud in the back. She I did. Had a green screen, uh. and said. We made it. They called us a trial. And everybody like, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> so it was awesome. Oh. It was something awesome. Mm -hmm. And um, so again, we had a time for preparation. Yeah. We had to start preparing, getting <laughs> ourselves together mentally, physically. You know, um, mm -hmm. the the gym called us, but we didn't answer <laughs> like, like that. We just did the best we could yeah, yeah, to yeah, make right. sure because you we know right. we didn't have you enough. <laughs> I love it. But fine. it was. It was exciting. So I got the email and everybody um, was was good with it, wanting to make sure that everybody was down and everybody was like, yes. That's awesome. And it's such a secretive thing, you know. It's yeah. like you, you don't just get a little email. Right. You get a long email of of do's and don'ts yeah. and instructions. Disclaimer and, that you're, yes. you're bound to. So when I said something to you in secret, mm -hmm. yeah, because it's, it's a big deal. And, you know, there's been other families from Dublin. Uh, just recently, the Traders, of course, yeah. you know, uh, in, you know, last month were on there. I remember the Wardlaws were on there. Mm -hmm. Pilar, her family was Back on there. The and so for us, for our family, it's like we needed this. Yeah, awesome. We needed this little spark. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm, we did. I'm so proud for you. We'll step away and come right back and talk more. You stay with us. Badcock Home Furniture and More is your home store where you'll find great savings on new living room sets, sofas, love seats, recliners, and more. Badcock Home Furniture and More has great savings every day on bedding and bedroom sets. Shop Badcock Home Furniture and More for a great selection of dining room sets and save every day on electronics and appliances at Badcock Home Furniture and More, 1927 Highway 441 South in Dublin. Call 275-3144 for more information or stop by and see Wendy and Tim Sumner or any of their friendly staff today at Badcock and More Home Furniture Store, where no credit is ever refused. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Dustin Gay. I'm a local orthopedic surgeon with Houston Clinic Orthopedics, and we'd really like to invite everybody to come out to our new uh, office facility to take a look at it. It's a larger space with physical therapy, and uh, we're just excited to have it, and we'd love for people to come out and visit us. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. Okay, so we're back and we, we're talking about uh, opportunity at Family Feud. So where did you have to go to tape? We went to Fayetteville, Georgia. A st we went to a studio there mm -hmm. and we couldn't have our phones. So it's yeah. like we couldn't drive our own vehicles there. We had to be transported. Everything was just top notch mm -hmm. and top secret. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So in Fayetteville, Georgia, there's mm -hmm. a studio there. Yeah. I know they're all over Metro Atlanta. Right. And, uh, you know, the outlying area. Fayetteville used to be way out, but I guess it's, it doesn't seem so far now. But you're out there in a studio you've yep. never been to before. They picked you up in, uh, you know, a, a limo van or yes, something like right, that. Yes, right, right, right. In the hotel. All, all excited. So excited. Wait, you got to rewind a little bit. All right, you all right. Rewind a little bit. All right, come on. I mean, like, we literally, even though we got that email, we mm -hmm. still had to try it again virtually. Yes. Oh. And they're like, you know, it's still not guaranteed that you're on the show, but we need to see your personalities. We mm -hmm. need you to act as though Steve Harvey is right here. So it's been a minute, y'all. Mm -hmm. We yeah. like what we saw back <laughs> right. five or six years ago. Correct. We better catch up, make sure everybody's still... Right, and so we still had, it was... I get it, I would do that. That's the stressful yeah. part, it's like, so we still had to, we had to audition, it was virtual, they're asking us yes, questions, right. they're like, we need high energy. You're saying, you're high energy mm -hmm. to, a, to a screen. Right. Yeah. And you know, they're like, well, we need to, there's gotta be a spark, there's yeah. gotta be something about you and your personality That's that gonna Steve's gonna there. like. Sure. Sure. So we had our queen shirts on. Yes, we were like matching our, our bedazzled. Queen conquer. <laughs> our queen's conquer. Yes. And don't quit shirt. And, and we had crowns. We all wore crowns. Nice. Yes. Everybody did. And nice. Angela had a had the green screen where it had Family Feud in the backdrop. Oh, I love that. Yes. They were so impressed by that, just by the effort. Sure. You know, so I, we do commend you, baby girl, you. for just putting forth that effort and mm -hmm. having that vision and really wanting this for our family. And the yeah. questions, they gave us the questions and we, you know, some things, we just practice. we went online and we start practicing yeah. from um, questions because there are some questions online and they actually okay. tell you. Right. You know, Do but you remember any of them? Golly. Oh, I wish I would have brought No, 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 it was asked about something you eat for breakfast. Yes. Okay. Um, Gosh, something that you don't have to chew. Mm -hmm. Like, like name a food that you eat for breakfast that you don't have to chew. Yes. Chew. Mm -hmm. Right. That you don't have to chew. Everybody don't eat grits. Right. And, and <laughs> didn't realize. That, didn't you realize. Know, California, something they don't They're eat They're like, no what's grits a grit? Right, right. But yeah, so like they, that question like that. So that mm -hmm. seems like an easy question. Yeah, yeah. But you have to think, and you got to think quickly. In hot seat. Ooh. Right. You're in the right. hot seat. And other than a protein drink and grits, where are you right, going? Right, right. Eggs. I'm like, you just <laughs> calling out stuff, oh, you know. Yeah. Yogurt. <laughs> yes, and so the, the cool thing is to say something, not nothing. But, you right. know, and that's where you right. get a lot of the crazy answers from. Yes. Because you don't want to be there like... And, you, and then it buzz out on you. Right, and yeah. you have to, whatever the answer is, good, bag, or, or porcupine, <laughs> <laughs> you've got to say good answer. Yeah. And yeah. you've got to fix your face. Okay, okay. Good answer, so, good answer. Good answer. Uh, I couldn't do oh, that. Lord, Lord. It was like, good answer, good answer. <laughs> and then I like, now, hey, you know. Now, you know yeah, better than that. What's up with that? <laughs> Where did that go? It was, it was so yes. exciting uh, just to do that and get the video record and, and, and they're telling us because, you know, somebody can tell you you're amazing all day, but it yeah. doesn't mean that you got the gig. Right. Correct. You know, and so we're still on pins and needles. Yeah. Like I said sure. earlier, trying to find out, you know, not... Um, feeling low, getting low, but still having to keep that momentum and yeah. that faith. And it, 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 it carried us. And see, along that time, again, we didn't realize what we were going to run into between the time we recorded and yeah. then that time, our oldest brother fell ill. Caregiver. So here you go. Hospice caregiver in her home for six months, mm -hmm. completely devoted to taking care of our brother. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> And so, so, so between doing that, the family getting the news that our brother, you know, his health was failing, and we decided that he was going to be with me, yeah. and then my, uh, the one who had the bucket list vision, she's next door, so she helped, yeah. so it put a lot of, so the family really came together. And so in between that time, we're hearing, okay, we're going to be on the show. We didn't know <laughs> if we were going to do it or not because it was so much. And the time that we were asked to even come was probably a week after we had um, buried our brother. Wow. It was close. It was, it was, it was not even in, in days. We buried him on a Saturday, and we had to leave on a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So yeah. emotionally, you know, when you peel back the layers, yeah. Yeah. we were not in a good place. Sure. Mm -hmm. sure. But we knew that the Lord had opened this door up for us and was like, mm -hmm. we don't want to cancel. We know that Lewis Jr. would want us to do this because he was excited for us. But mm -hmm. at the same time, 
we're not. Yeah, yeah. We didn't feel. We didn't <laughs> yeah. feel. That's when you draw from the strength of the Lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because although we're supposed to in it every day, but that's the time where you dig so deep. You say, God, if you don't do <laughs> you this, don't do it. <laughs> we ain't gonna do it. But it we, but happen. we still felt oppressed, and we also wanted to be sensitive to everybody. Yeah. And to make sure that everybody was good. All right. Yeah. I, I get that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You make sure everybody was, because you don't want them to say, well, how y'all going to do that? And yeah. Yeah, you want to make yeah. sure the family understands. And when, when they got on board, that was it. That was we that's it. right. We were, we were wardrobe st meetings. Wardrobe <laughs> meetings. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> together. Our yes, you're about Our brothers came and they played Steve Harvey. Yeah. We actually did a lot of rehearsals. Yes. Oh, um, y'all got enough people to do them. Though. Yes. Y'all had a team and a team. <laughs> you're going to play each other, yeah. right? Yes. right? That's right. We did. And, and you know, it was, it has been really such a blessing that whole process of yeah, yeah, our family really coming together you know yeah. as siblings we've always been very close but yeah, yeah. when adversity hits our family and yeah. when we lose one sure. you sure. know yeah. it um you know it does you know put a little kink in our armor yeah. but god has definitely been with us to be able to yeah. to have this experience that alone yeah. i tell people win lose or draw to be able to have this experience for a family absolutely amazing yeah. that right there in itself was it healing though? I believe it was, wasn't yeah. it? To, mm -hmm. to go and... Uh... It was. Cause it, it, like I feel that it was because it got us out of that place of where we had experienced that loss. And it start, and, and as we began to move forward, I felt that destiny, destiny was calling. Yeah. And uh, even, you know, the roughest place or the roughest times, it doesn't mean that destiny has, um, you know, said, no, this is no mm -hmm. more. God, he says that whatever work he's begun, he's faithful and just to complete that That's work. Right. And it was a good work. And I believe mm -hmm. that it was uh, uh, it was that season, even though it didn't seem like it for us, That's but right. that, in the time it didn't seem right. right. But it took us back to God is sovereign. Yeah. And I tell you what, it, it healed me um, moving forward and going, even though I had to pick up oh. my... My days, <laughs> you know, to. shift everything, and um, but mm -hmm. it did because it's part of our destiny. Yeah, yeah. and the reason and we're sitting here today mm -hmm. and we're able to dedicate that boom um, to our big brother. And our yeah, brother that's friend. awesome. Yeah. that's awesome. Were you able to share that on the show? Were you able to? Uh, share the loss, or was it something personal that you all? Well, had? no, I think we shared a little bit about it, just in the backstory mm -hmm. of us. Uh, you yeah. know, even when we got there, it still wasn't guaranteed we were on the show. Okay, right. we still had to audition we had to throughout. We we're like, there. what? Yeah. this is like but, we're getting ready to go to military. But with them trying to find out about us and 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 the the layers of us, is we did share that our brother had recently passed away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful. Uh, we'll take another short break. We're going to be right back. You stay with us. Hi, I'm Tom Dominey. Here at Dublin Wynn Nelson, we pride ourselves on providing the industry's highest quality products at the most competitive pricing. We are a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry, and we can answer your questions and help you get the parts and equipment you need. From Owen to Renai, we carry the plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products you need from the brands you trust. We also carry a great lineup of Milwaukee tools. At Dublin Wynn Nelson, our goal is the long-term success of your business. We achieve that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right, one customer at a time. If you have a question, or if you're looking for a hard-to-find part, give us a call. Our experts are ready to help. Order online, give us a call, or come by at 507 Airport Road in Dublin. We're committed to building long-term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. All right, and we're back with you, Angela and Pat here with us, talking yeah. about family feud. Yes! 
how many times have we watched that show over the years oh, yeah. through the different hosts? Now, of course, we all, all agree Steve Harvey's the best one yet. <laughs> he was awesome. I mean, my man will just gets you to laugh at it. You know, he just, he'll crack you up. He's and great. I love his story. If I could just pause for people who don't know the story of Steve Harvey, you know, uh, fell prey to homelessness, yes. lived mm -hmm. out of his car, was yes. a stand-up comedian we remember from way back with Cracking right. Up, right. and worked his way out of living out of the, out of a car now mm -hmm. to, to a multi, multi, I don't want to say billionaire, but probably there, yeah, um, of it, but it, and involved in so much of, yes. of, of, yeah. in a progressive way, in a positive yeah, way, exactly. and in a real way. That's right. You can count on that. Real. But uh, that show, uh, Family Feud had been on a long time, and he's been over several years. And, several. Uh, so we're going to have the opportunity to watch you all. Yes! Coming up. That's right. Yeah, tell everybody right now how to watch. Go ahead, Angie. Check it out. Okay, we're so excited. Okay, so May 3rd, <laughs> on May 3rd, 2024, yes! 6 o'clock p.m., and I believe it may be 6.30 p.m. also, Eastern Standard Time. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can go, you have to check your local listings, but here in Lawrence County, it is going to be on WXGA. WGXA. WGXA, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Uh, Fox, and so we are also having a Facebook Live watch party. So <laughs> you can go on that event on there Facebook. Yes. And just let us know you're going, and we're going to do a lot of fun things to be as well. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people, you know, they're like, oh, we need to do a watch party. I mean, absolutely. And I know a lot of people are getting together. Yeah. And I mean, you know, make sure you're, you know, doing some little video clips and stuff and, and giving us a shout out. I mean, this is special. I think that for the community, you know, when when the Schraders were on, it's like I feel like the the community embraced this. Is this is this is a big thing for us? Sure. And so for the Stanleys, even though it's just the girls now, because the boys, we still got three brothers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know, and two sisters that not were not on there. But it this is a big thing. And yeah. for our families, you know, we think about our family and our legacy to be able to be on a national platform mm -hmm. such as this in a fun way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To be on there together. Together. Yeah. 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 All right. So you got to tell me now. I mean, I, we're going to be watching, but uh, who was first, second, or who was all the way down the line? I'm going to line it up. Boss Baby first. Boss Baby. And, and when, you see the, when you see the picture, you're going to see um, myself. Uh huh. Number two. <laughs> And then yeah, um, Dorothy. No, um, yes, Dorothy was at the end. Was she? See, you're gonna have. I've to, gotten. It, she, look it, at it's been <laughs> over a year ago. It has been over <laughs> a year. We filmed a year ago. Wow. Uh huh. And now just coming up. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It was myself, Barbara, Bernie's, Pat, and Dorothy. Is that right? Mm hmm. There you go. We're going home with that. There it is. That's our final answer. And we're everybody. sticking to final it. Answer. We're sticking to yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what's, what's so interesting is the timing of it, of where it was the last week of school. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. And if you know how my schedule is, mm. we had so many different things. And, and I went to Dr. Hall and Superintendent <laughs> Garnto, and I took like, this is a hilarious. I took five little miniature Bibles. I put them on their desk. <laughs> put your hand on this stack of Bibles. Uh, oh, uh, Garto, I don't need it. My word don't need to be on no stack of Bibles. <laughs> I said, well, can you keep a secret? Yeah. But I had to let them know because I was missing stuff. Right, right. And, and, and we were why. gone for four days. Yeah. And so by the time we got back, I had maybe 30 minutes to get ready for East Lawrence's graduation. Wow. And, and we had started preparing because we need, at that time, my brother was still, you know, with us. Yes. So we were preparing for a caregiver. And I was like, I don't want to be away from him. That's yes. Wrong. You know, but it just, in if anything happens. Time, if anything happens, yes. But in, that, in between time. So we were doing all the kind of preparation. You know, we have mothers and, and brothers, you know, just trying to make sure that everybody was in alignment right, and right. Yeah. the schedule, you right, know. Right. Okay, but, but now it comes down to it, you shared with a few people, what kind of advice did you get from people before going? Did you get any? Well, see, people we, love to give advice. They do. Know. It's different when you're sitting in <laughs> yes. your in your chair yes. watching it. I understand, <laughs> but you know, the family before you went, just be yourself. Yeah, be yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, Think before you answer a question. Yes. Don't be acting a fool up there. Yes. Don't embarrass yes. Don't embarrass yes. The con was a big yeah. thing. Yeah. Don't let us go viral for something crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, look, let us go viral. I don't know to say something. But it, my main thing that I heard and the advice that I was getting, and yeah. you know, 
be relaxed yeah. and enjoy yourself. Yeah. Because, you know, it's a lot of tension, a lot of things, but it's also a lot of fun. Right. And the, the, the crew, the crew and the staff, they were amazing. They were amazing. They were very personable. They helped make us feel relaxed. Yeah. And uh, that made the, a world of difference for us. And it's and like we were ourselves. Yeah, we were. That's the thing is okay. being yourself and being relaxed because when you're nervous, when you're tense, it's all in your face and your forehead and you have to get rid of those wrinkles up there. But you <laughs> smooth those wrinkles out. But it's like when you were all those lights are on you. Yeah. And there's a live studio audience. Right, right. Mm -hmm. They look it in your face, you're looking at theirs. Mm -hmm. And you're like, Oh my God. Yeah. Come on, Jesus. Right. Come and and it, it helped that we had some of our family there. Yes! In, in uh, our big brother and his family, my daughter and my niece, uh, sisters, as she said, they were in there. So that helped us. Sure. Even though those lights are so hot, you can't see who, who's out there. Mm -hmm. But we knew they were there, and that was encouraging also. And the ones that were rooting for us back home. For sure. And just encouraging us, saying, hey, you can do this. Yeah. And so that, that meant a lot. And two, you're on your feet for a long, long time. So these shoes here didn't see the light of day. No. I had to pull out my grannies, yeah. my granny wedges, yeah. so I could be standing up for a while. all day. And you know, and it's like there's a certain way you need to stand so that your legs don't lock up or you yeah. don't pass out or sure. you know. And sure. we're like, oh my gosh. Yeah, you know how to stand. Y'all know. Well, you think you do, but you think you do. You think you do, and it's very strict. That's a very strict environment. We yeah. couldn't wear black. If you wore black, anything up here, you would not be on the show, whether you made it to that point or not. So they were very strict about what we wore, mm -hmm. and so it was it was a lot. But I'm so thankful to God that we, yeah. our family, had the opportunity to do it. Yeah. And I often think I said, "Man, Mom and Dad would be, so, be proud so proud of us." Oh, no, That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, you look back on your parents, you know, you lost them early in life. Um, you know, what do you really think? I know they say they're proud, but, you know. Our mother, having died so young at 42, yeah. Yeah. hers was a sudden death. I think about her a lot because Angela and I have no recollection of our mother. Right. And so there's a lot of things that we do subconsciously thinking, okay, mom would be proud if she were able to see her youngest, her baby girls, doing what we're doing. And, and we often think about the mantle that she had. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's so important for us to keep the, the legacy of Lewis and Emma's uh, Stanley's children because of our mom, you know, they, they told us that when our mom was dying, she told us before, that she, before she could not speak anymore, mm -hmm. to always stay close and to always look out for each other mm -hmm. and don't be getting mad at each other. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Don't, don't, go, don't, don't go to bed angry. That's right. We were always taught that and, um, and then what I learned, and I'm very grateful as being the youngest mm -hmm. that I have been able to have those go before me. Yep. And uh, there was a poem that I wrote called The Mother I Never Knew, and it actually highlighted my sisters and my brothers and those that I was able to look and to pattern my life after yep. because our greatest and strongest foundation was the Lord. That's right. And because it didn't matter how close or whatever, but our strongest foundation, and I believe until this day, mm -hmm. is the Lord. Mm -hmm. And that we, our faith in God and living righteously before Him and mm -hmm. loving each other the way um, God has taught us to love has really been a strength for us mm -hmm. throughout. And so I'm very grateful about that. And mm -hmm. I, I thank God. Who served as a mother figure? Bernice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say. Bernice. So Bernice legally adopted Angela and I. Mm -hmm. um, I was 13. Mm -hmm. You were 11, going on 12. Mm -hmm. And she legal, her and Robert, her husband, they legally adopted Angela and I. And Bernice t treated us as though we were her, yeah, her she children. Did. She was 26 years old, Lord. married with two kids. And she just, she said the Lord led her to do that. Oh, and so Lord she went to our dad. Yeah. Our dad was still alive. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But he was up in age. And yeah. she said, because he was 60 when An Angela was born. Okay. And she says, I be I, Dad, I believe that I can take care of the girls yeah. and give them what they need as a mom because I know that with you, it's very difficult for them to get what they need. Uh -huh. sure. And he allowed yeah. her to do that. Hey, uh, people will remember Bernice. Uh, I, I, I guess, you know, 
most uh, people would remember from Olive Branch. Mm -hmm. Working at Olive Branch for years. Forceman for about 25 years. Forceman for yes. See, I, I knew Sue was going to help me that's out right. before that. You know, but um, I always knew my mom. Just thought she was the sweetest lady when she would oh, go yeah. in and out of there. You know, yes. for, for materials and, and you know gifts and things. But I can remember going in there, and she was always so kind, Man. always so very precious. Then you and I got to know each yeah. other, you know, through the oh, station, so and yeah. then yeah. yeah, and then I see Bernice, mm -hmm. and she is just such a what? beautiful soul, such a beautiful lady, isn't she? There are not any words that we could say no. about Bernice Nelson mm -hmm. and what she means to us. Yeah. Um, and she's the closest thing to a mother I've ever had, and. And I often tell her, there's nothing I would not do for you mm -hmm. because of what you did mm -hmm. in taking care of Angela and I. And, you know, she was very strict on us, but no. yes, <laughs> but, be, but she raised us up to, to love the Lord. And even when we went astray, she still stood firm. And now she's the elder and mother of our church. Mm -hmm. And, and the House of Refuse Ministries International, she, she manages our thrift store, nah. and she's retired, but she still works, she still volunteers full time. And so, mm -hmm. if there's ever been an angel on earth, it's her. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Angel. yeah you know, I, I believe, and I know y'all believe that you don't retire from service to the Lord. Oh, you no. have a ministry. Uh, I, I've always tried to instill in, in, you know, young people in my life, anybody who, you know, asks for advice, said, we all have a ministry. Right. You don't have to be in in the ministry to be a minister of the Lord. Whatever you do and whatever God calls you That's to right. do, accountant, doctor, mm -hmm. pastor, you do it unto the Lord. You yeah. do it unto the Lord. You are a minister to people all around you. And she's always been. Always been that way. And I think that that's how we live our life. Mm -hmm. You know, we know that people people watch us and, and, and to whom much is given, much is required. We know the mantle that is on us, that's on our family. We know that people, people do watch us. You know, there are people that admire us. And uh, we know that we have to uphold that light He's very of humbling. Jesus Christ. It really is. It and, is very humbling. And I want to say I, I'm so thankful for our family. I'm thankful for my husband, my kids, mm -hmm. you know, because it takes our in-laws. In yeah. That requires uh, such a uh, having that family, that, that tight-knit family is so important in order to push someone towards their destiny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I wanted to tag, and I know our time may be coming um, to a close, but I just wanted to say as well, I mean, the uncle may forgot that during that season time, we were also celebrating Mother's Day. So Mother's Day, <laughs> birthday in May, it was yeah. a lot going yeah. on. Yes. My birthday was shortly after, and my sister's birthday, you know, mm -hmm. just a lot we were celebrating. We mm -hmm. wanted to be mindful to still celebrate yeah. because God has given us life. Yes. And I wanted to say when you said the mother figure, and I'm so glad that you took the time to share that. Um, but there's been such a, it's such an inspiration that every single one of the sis, our sisters are at one point their mother figure. You can go to them and ask for motherly yeah. advice yeah. and they can give it to you. Mm -hmm. Or you need a motherly hug or motherly love and yeah. they'll give it to you. And so yeah. I, I'm, I'm tearing up because <laughs> it's, it's very dear to me. That's why it I believe is. that yeah. you, those yeah. that have mothers, should love them, those, even if you don't think that they, um, you know, met whatever standard you have. Because again, I was 11 months old and I didn't physically know my mother. Yeah. And so it's That's just, a, you know, that honor in mothers and your fathers, because some fathers have raised their children. Mm -hmm. But to just honor your mother and your father, because it's right. Yes. And, and it'll go a long way. And I believe that that's why the prosperity is on our lives, because we're honoring yeah. uh, our that's parents, so honoring yeah. our mothers, mm -hmm. and we're honoring God. Yeah. And so for that, we're grateful. I'm so grateful mm -hmm. you have us on here mm -hmm. to share. Been you didn't have to do that. Been a pleasure. Had to do it. Been what do you mean didn't have to? <laughs> well, we Lord are. Have mercy. Uh, yes. And we yeah. are uh, just so grateful. Yeah. I am. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not going to cry much. I'm, I'm wow. grateful for y'all. You know I am. And, uh, so remind everybody now what time to tune in. Tell me about the Facebook deal and, and okay. I'll just kind of wrap it up. Go ahead. Everybody. You got okay. that. 6 o'clock and 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, mm -hmm. May 3rd. That's next Friday. Mm. Not this Friday coming up, but Friday after. And you can tune in to Fox, I believe, whatever Family Feud comes on in your local listings. Mm -hmm. You can go to familyfeud.com and find out where your local listings are. And also if there have been any changes. 
Also, join our Facebook page, which is the Stanley Family's Family Feud Debut. We yes. have already now almost 2,000 people that's already click going or interested. So click going and just let us know because we're going to be talking along the way. And if you're going to do a watch party where you are, we want you can go live there or yes. you can take, take pictures, pictures and put it in there. Yes. So we want to really blow this thing up and... Um, Number one, that God would get the glory for it, and that That's also right. that it will be a great representation of the community that he's brought us in. Also. That's right. That's right. And, and thank you. And thank thing. you for this. And thank you to the community for, for just the buy-in and the support. Yeah. You know, that's when you think about a small town, you know, we're blessed here in Dublin. Mm -hmm. and, um, and seeing the community come together. That's all inspiring to me. And, and every time I'm out in the community at events and taking pictures, I know that it's for part of telling our story here. Mm -hmm. And I know that this, us being on Family Feud, is a part of the story for Dublin Lawrence County. Yeah, yeah. Keep up the good work, ladies. Thank you. God yeah. bless you. Angela D. and Pat, thank you all for joining us today. Love Thanks for watching TV 35, and that's our final answer.